concerns for the West Australians. He does it with a short wide ball, but Frank Rush snaps it on the front of the He's bowling now, back into the attack. And he draws the edge and he's caught. Famous products is another one. Freeman drops short and oh, Green plays that out to the end of and stands before. Birds needs from River Scott. As Freeman's dropping short, he has no man. Very deep square away and then he's master. Thank you very much. And that's going on. Their opportunity to jump in. Short and pulled straight up in the air by Green. He's going to be caught. Payne's going to take his fourth catch. Completely miscued. And Payne takes the catch at a short square leg position. Tasmania. First down. He's on the patio. He's nice. He's out. He's LBW. And they do get the wicket in the extra over of the session. Marsh played back, and to be fair, we're behind the batsman, but that looked pretty out. When they had that one more over, and Jacob, you picked it. You said, how many times has it happened, and it's happened again. Well, a good session for Tasmania. They took five wickets, they bowled to their plan, and Western Australia would would uh, go into, into lunch now. Or Launceston. As Agar aggressively drives Freeman down the ground, beats the man at mid-off. As Freeman bowls, two for 27 bowls again from the Louis Marsh stand, and Inglis is oh, up lost. and over the court, and that's racing away to Bird once again. He bowls to Inglis. Ooh. Bowls! Inside edge, back into his stumps. These aren't flowing at the moment. It's all about survival. And saying that, Kelly advances and smokes it straight back over the bowler for six. As Freeman bowls and using his feet, smashing it back over the bowler, and indeed the umpire is Gannon for four, straight in front of the side screen. Be off to South Australia. Beaten outside the off stump. Is there an edge? Yes, it's an edge. Freeman, he's on the approach and he does flight it up and he's bowled him. He's gone right through the defences of Lance Morris and Western Australia are all out. For 219, so the follow-on is well and truly within reach should Tasmania choose to do it. But we're seeing... Jack. He's got two slips in a gully and that's left alone outside the off stump. Yeah, well, still come up and won. As Morris bowls again, that's defended off the back foot. Good, good over. Again, another good over by Morris. There's yeah. been no real trouble, but that's, and that's tea. tea. It's the afternoon session gone. And probably, unfortunately, WA's Shield final chances gone with the wind as well in that afternoon session. They've been bowled out for 219 in responses to Tasmania's 514. That was a mammoth total, and it was always going to be hard to set up a game. But now the focus is not losing this match yes uh, yes Bryce so it was a good session again for Tasmania they got the remaining five wickets for about 80 odd runs and a poor display by West Australia to be all out for the years takes on the short ball here he's pulled it hard high over the infield and that's going to plug and bounce away for four game against these guys in a couple of days again Ward uses his feet but he gets it this time a crisp use of the feet and clears the long off boundary Hubs and, and oh, nice little court and bowl there for Gannon. <laughs> From the what positives we could. Gannon bowls and Wade's driving through the covers and that'll race out to the boundary. Next to the scoreboard for four, one for seventy nine. Gannon in again outside the stump bowling. Hear that word very often these days. Wade goes for it again. He has smacked Gannon back over his head and he's hit it one bounce for four. Is he? As we see Agar bowl to Jewel, who takes on deep mid-wicket, and he's hit it out towards the fieldsman, Kelly, who hands it across to Bancroft, and that's a catch. It was the one I wanted. Wade has tried to hit that ball to the moon. I think he's got an edge here, has he? Yes, up goes the finger. On the, the fine leg rope, again on the sweep, he's doing. He has top-edged it, though, and he's going to take another wicket. Ashton Agar, gee, he was good. On the sweep here is Doran. He gets it past the man on the 45, a chase around the boundary for Kelly, which he can't overhaul. Lightly, even with WA's batting strength and oh, oh Webster's just leaned back and furls. Webster's gone in the air, it's gonna be caught. We're gonna have ten overs probably to oh, nine overs probably tonight. The time we change over. I think that's thirty five being bowled. We were targeting forty six, we'll lose two for the changeover. Bird though, he was probing. Here he comes again and he's getting bank off to drive out through the covers. Four to point, lovely shot. Bird won't be disappointed that he played the stroke because he was reaching for it, but it's going to beat Freeman to the boundary for the point. Great play, Nick Robertson. Full and driven down through the vacant mid-off region by Bancroft. Just a check drive. That's four runs. And that's four more. Here comes Rain Bird. And he's bowled him! He's gone straight through Cameron Bancroft with a beauty! But Bancroft has been bowled by the final ball of the day. Sam Rainbird with an outstanding delivery.
swung back in and demolished the stumps of Bancroft. He was playing, he was looking to drive, and the ball smashed into the stumps. So a brilliant way to finish an outstanding day for Tasmania.